Fiji's environment, its unique cultures, and even the foods we grow are intertwined. Our environment provides great beauty. And it is a resource for thousands of families who survive on what they grow and animals that they raise. But these resources are at risk. They are vulnerable to pests and diseases that already exist in some parts of Fiji but which could easily move to other parts of the country if we don't take action now. The Biosecurity Authority of Fiji, or BATH, is responsible for protecting Fiji's unique diversity and agriculture sector from the introduction of dangerous pests and diseases. These pests, diseases and weeds can spread from one part of Fiji to another through the movement of plants or plant products, animals or animal products, soil, agricultural machinery and other equipment. When a new pest or disease is found in an area in Fiji, expensive controls have to immediately be put into place to stop its spread into other areas. These new pests or diseases can also damage crops and make our produce unwanted in overseas and local markets. This can cost our agricultural industry and our farming communities millions of dollars. To prevent this risk, BATH has put restrictions on the movement of certain items to protect Fiji's valuable local and overseas markets. Spot checks will be done at each of Fiji's wharves. If restricted items are found, a large fine will be imposed on the spot. The American iguana is a pest, which has become a dangerous threat to our food security, our environment, and the agricultural and tourism industries. This foreign iguana is also a threat to Fiji's $20 million Ndalo industry. So far, the iguana is found on Gamea, Lauvala, Dabiuni, and Matangi Islands. These iguanas eat food crops such as young dalo leaves, cassava leaves, bele, tomatoes, pawpaws, cabbage, beans and yam vines. If the growing number of American iguana is not stopped, food crops in nearby Fijian villages could be at great risk. These iguanas could also impact Fiji's biodiversity, affecting our endemic plants, bird eggs and nestlings. American iguanas also pose a risk to our endangered native crested iguanas through the possible transmission of diseases, parasites and sickness that our indigenous iguanas are not immune to. Currently, there is a biosecurity emergency declaration in place that prohibits anyone from moving American iguanas or their eggs from Gamea, Lovala, Davuni and Matangi to any other part of Fiji. Anyone found to be moving or breeding the iguanas can be fined $50,000 for an individual or $250,000 for a corporate body. Asian subterranean termites are a new species of termite found in Fiji that have already caused millions of dollars of damage to houses, schools and vegetation, mainly in the Lautoka area. To prevent these termites from spreading to other parts of Fiji, BAF has put in place the Biosecurity Emergency Termites Regulation 2010. Under this regulation, all communities from Rasa to Saru, including Lautoka City, have been declared as biosecurity emergency areas. The Emergency Termites Regulation prohibits the removal of any wooden materials, plants and plant products, timber and building material, furniture, personal effects or soil from Lautoka to other parts of Fiji. Anyone found breaking this law could be fined a maximum penalty of $40,000 for individuals or $200,000 for corporate bodies. Fruit flies are another major concern to biosecurity because they cause damage to commercial fruits and vegetables. This damage can affect our exports, which is important for farmers and the country alike. Fiji has seven species of fruit fly. Two of these species are found only on the island of Rotuma. But the migration of even one species to the rest of Fiji 
could pose a significant threat to Fiji's fruits and vegetable crops and our fresh produce exports. Fiji has a bilateral quarantine agreement with New Zealand to export fresh produce. This agreement ensures that a system is in place to minimize the risk of pests and diseases like fruit flies entering New Zealand. If fruit flies were to migrate to New Zealand in our product, it could jeopardize our fresh produce export market. The island of Rotuma has been declared an infested biosecurity controlled area. The movement of any live stage of certain fruit flies and their hosts, like mangoes, kavika, breadfruit, popo or wutu or any other fruits out of Rotuma without the permission of a biosecurity officer, is strictly prohibited. This restriction on movement includes transporting any of these fruits from Rotuma by any ship, boat or aircraft that arrives in and departs from Rotuma. If anyone is caught violating this promulgation, the court can issue a fine of up to $40,000 or 12 months imprisonment. Fiji is currently the largest exporter of Ndalo in the Pacific, with annual exports of almost $20 million. But the spread of the taro beetle could endanger these exports. Areas infested by the taro beetle include Mbutha, Ngau, Obalau, Rewa Delta, Ra, Tailevu North, Naitasiri, Namosi, Serua and Nanrunga. The taro beetle can spread to other parts of Fiji by the movement of Ndalo, Dalo tops and suckers, pot plants, Yangona, yams, Kumala with soil, used Ndalo sacks, Dalonitana, Via, banana, yams, yangona and kumala plantings, poultry manure and compost, used farm equipment and any machinery or vehicles from taro beetle infested areas. Anyone who intends to move these things from taro beetle infested areas to other parts of Fiji should seek authorization from BAF first. Recently, Fiji has seen the re-emergence of brucellosis in cattle. This is a highly contagious bacteria spread by aborted calves, retained and aborted afterbirth material, contaminated pastures and raw unpasteurized infected milk products to name only a few. The outbreak is currently centered around farms in the Wainivesi area in Tailevu North. To prevent this pest from spreading to other parts of the country, there has been a restriction in movement of cattle from infected farms and any movement of animals from this area must get approval from BAF. If anyone moves livestock from these areas without approval, the fines could be as high as $40,000. Help us to keep Fiji's agricultural resources protected. Our communities and our nation as a whole rely on these resources for much needed income help keep Fiji pest and disease free. For more information, please contact the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji.